we are off to Cornwall today for a few days. But before that, we are taking Peggy for her first groom as she wraps herself round soon. So, um, fortunately, our groomers are at the bottom of Cook's Lane. And uh, we don't know what she's going to look like because we're used to being all fluffy. But we uh, will see. It'll be a few hours in there, I'm sure. So we're just going for a little walk first. And then we'll drop them off, drop her off at the groomers and walk back. And we're going to have a full English this morning. We are in Pigeon Lane. Definitely chillier this morning. And it's only 10 degrees. But we get up to 15 today. It's supposed to be like that all week. Well, I'm hoping so. We're going on a big walk tomorrow. So hopefully the weather will stay good for us. But even though it's still 10, it's still beautiful. Pretty there now. Just literally a few feet. But we thought we'd stop at this beautiful view. So pretty. And it's just less than a minute up here now. Which is really, really, really convenient. Don't know if I said that, but it's very convenient. Oh, that's it. Peggy's in the groomers. Just got Poppy with us, bless her. They're not going to take much off today because we told them to. <laughs> not to take too much off. We like her fluffy and scruffy. Just needed a bit more of a tidy up. So we're going back now for a full English. And we're back. 1.7 miles. Time for breakfast. We've got Peggy back all pruned. Pruned. All fluffy. Still adorable as ever. Just a lot less hair, which is good for her. We're off to Penzance now. Here we are on the A30. We're not on a walk. But there are cows, and guess what? After spending a mere nearly £3,000 on this lovely car in two months, it's broken down again. It's gone into limp mode. So we've managed to pull over to a lovely picnic spot, and uh, we're waiting for a green flag to come out and see what's going on, see if they can fix it. It's not a bad place to be broken down, and not bad weather either. So we'll see what's happening later. So I'm thinking, if we're going to be stuck anywhere, this is not a bad view. <laughs> not a bad view to be stuck at at all. Always find the positives. We're going away no matter what, regards to what the car needs. So, still getting a holiday. Just slightly inconvenienced. Which is no big deal compared to the problems of the world today. Especially with this view. So we made it. To our location. We're not at our room yet, or our lodge, whatever we've got. Can't remember what we rented. But good old car made it. It's got an injector that's gone. So injector number two. So we limped all the way down here. We've got it booked in on Wednesday. Only going to be about six hundred quid. So slowly taking us up to that four thousand pound mark. You know, if I knew it was going to go this cost this much, I would have got rid of it. But we're kind of invested in it now. Ah. <sighs> I hope I'm not on this video in another month going, oh no, something else is gone. Well, we've had a, well, I had a cup of coffee, a bit of flapjack. You know, half an hour's rest, can't rest any longer than that. So we're back out. And the sea, we reckon, is about a mile from here. So we're going to go and find a footpath somewhere that will hopefully take us down to the sea. But I have to say, so far, very impressed with where we are and so quiet. Love quiet. We are. The sea is in a distance, so we're not far from the sea because we're still in the park. So, it shouldn't take too long to get down to sea at all. Looking forward to seeing the sea. Where we're staying, Kennedy Manor. And that's where we've just walked out from. And there is the sea. So not too far away at all. The road, straight onto a public footpath into a field. And it looks like that's St. Michael's Mount there. There. Quite haven't seen that for a few years. 
good start to the, I set for the, you know, the old car playing up. It's a great start to the day. Look at these spring greens. Wow. Oh, they look nice. They look amazing. I'm having a Tesco Finest Pie tonight. I bet some of those would go nice with them. <laughs> wow, whole oh, field, field full of them. They look fantastic. Almost make you go vegetarian. Find the bridge to the sea. I think it goes over the rail. Oh, yeah, it does. Go over the railway lines. And there's the beach. Oh, and they've got a lovely walkway along the front. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm sure we'll walk all this as well. Beautiful evening. Sun is just going, setting behind those houses there. Oh, we have a train coming by. Oh, can't see it now, gone behind the rocks. Oh, a beautiful little beach. Well, it's not little actually, it's quite big. Surprisingly big. Yeah. Really nice. Peggy trying to pick up a stone that's far too big for her because she's stupid. Oh no, she got it. Peggy, what you got? Yeah, dopey dog. Just found where the footpath has been diverted. There was gates over that side that said um, that people, residents only, but it was a public footpath. But you know what? Why rock the boat? Just walk around, find another way around, which we've done. And uh, this is nice. I'm definitely getting hungrier now. Ready for a bit of pie. And I've got some of my own cabbage as well, that Sue froze, so I can have that tonight as well. Now we've cut back to where we were earlier. There's the pub and the um, phone box. Any difference being now, we're going up. We walked all the way down earlier, but now it's up and up and up. Going through the, the field of greens now what look like huge cabbages and then it's one more field up there and then we're across into the place we're staying oh look at that beautiful and there's the moon lovely and we are back 3.7 miles it's not too bad at all for an evening stroll Time for a pie. Oh, we're gonna have jack potato, some veg, and chill. <laughs> 